Hi, I'm David Dock. And I'm Cody Gibbons. Welcome, Welcome to, to The Cutting, Cutting Edge. Edge. On Monday, October 8th, Alaska celebrated Indigenous Peoples Day. Let's learn more. Indigenous Peoples Day, October 10th, 2016. Indigenous people have lived on these lands for many thousands of years. Alaska is built on the homes and villages of the Alaska Native peoples. Alaska Native's cultural contributions have shaped the character of Alaska. Alaska is really one big community. Alaska opposes racism and promotes Alaska Native heritage. Since Indigenous Peoples Day was first proposed in 1977. Since many tribes in the U.S. support changing Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day. The state of Alaska joins other cities to recognize the second Monday of October as Indigenous Peoples Day. To promote friendship among all Alaskans. So when I heard that Alaska was adopting Indigenous Peoples Day rather than Columbus Day, I couldn't help but feel that it was high time. All them. And to celebrate Indigenous people and their cultures and the fact that we are still here in spite of all of those hardships and all of that trauma. So I spent my Indigenous Peoples Day dressed in my Indigenous regalia and trying to encourage other people around Mount Edgecombe and around the state to do so as well. I also spent my day rewriting the speech that I delivered for the Indigenous Peoples Day event at UAS. MEHS wishes you a happy Indigenous Peoples Day. Wow, history is alive here in Alaska and out Mount Edgecombe. Are you interested in some filmmaking? If so, you have a chance of making some money. Let's follow Cody to the story. Student Cam is an annual national video documentary competition that encourages students to think about issues that affect our communities and our nation. This year, students are asked to create a short five to six minute video on the topic, what does it mean to be American? The prize will be a total of $100,000. Students have from November 1st to January 20th to upload their documentary and submit their entry form. Visit studentcam.org for more information. Wow, that was great. I hope we get a lot of students to participate. Now let's meet our college and career counselor. Let's go on over to Amy and Shana with the story. Hi, my name is Shannon Flores and I'm the new college and career guide for this year. My office is up in Cuspa Hall across from Miss Mulligan's room and I'm here to help you with everything related to your college, your career, and your future. So I have a few announcements for you and the first one is that SAT and ACT prep starts this Wednesday and Thursday in the Star Center from 7 to 8.30. We're just going to be going over time practice test sections and doing a little bit of review. Snacks will be provided. Uh, next, for seniors especially, we have the Google Classroom, and the code for that is VMW93S1. Sign up as soon as you can, because this is the place where you're going to find all of your announcements for the year. Finally, my office hours are from 5th hour to 5 p.m. Basically every single day on Wednesdays and Thursdays, I'm here until 8.30 p.m. Looking forward to seeing you around campus. Wow, those are so many great opportunities for Mount Edgecombe students. Another great opportunity is called The Color of Justice. Let's go find out some more. Hi, I'm Madeline Hardy here with Ms. September Horton, the Director of Missions here at MEHS. And we're here to talk about The Color of Justice. What is The Color of Justice? The Color of Justice is a program to teach students about the legal system from um, everything from how to become an attorney to how to become a judge and what your involvement at one time or another in your life you will be involved in the legal system and to help understand that. Who's all going to participate in the color of justice? Well, for one, judges. We even have an Alaska Supreme Court judge coming. And we also have attorneys that will be here. And we have law professors from at least three different law schools across the United States. And most of all, there wouldn't be a color of justice without you, the student. So with 11th and 12th graders, we want to see you sign up. 
What are some of the things that students do at the Color of Justice? They're going to hear from judges about their career and how they got started. They'll also hear from law schools about how to um, start your career as being a student ready to go into law school. But nobody just wants to listen to lectures. We're going to have a lot of fun games, we're going to have food, and there's going to be candy throwing. There always is. If you are interested in participating, make sure you sign up. You can get your form from Ms. McAdams or Mr. Fitz. Please sign up. The deadline is the 26th of October and we'd love to see you there. Now here is the student of the month. Bear has a story. Hi, I'm Bear Brown Jr. and I'm here with October student of the month, Jenny Reynolds. Jenny, congratulations. Thank you very much. So uh, what classes are you currently taking this semester, Jenny? I am taking Pre-Calc, Senior Futures, Government, Intro to Business, and Chinese One. And what are your plans uh, after graduating this, this spring? I plan on going to Fort Lewis College to study criminal justice or nursing. So Jenny, are there any uh, classes you're excited about taking next semester before you graduate? Next semester, I am taking beginning swimming, and I am excited for that class because I do not know how to swim yet. All right, Jenny, as a four-year senior from Subunga, do you have a message for some of the younger students here at Mount Eshkum? Yes, keep working hard, never give up, and in the end, it will really pay off. That sounds amazing, Jenny. Thank you again for stopping by, and congratulations on winning October Student of the Month. It was a pleasure. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, Jenny. And, and remember, remember, stay, stay tuned, tuned to, to The, the Cutting, cutting edge. edge.